Hi, I'm Steve G. Jones, and today I'm in Germany, and I'm actually on the Autobahn. And don't worry, I'm not driving. I'm, I'm seat belted in. I'm in a very safe car, uh, Mercedes S-Class, and there's someone driving it, so uh, everything's fine. But uh, I want to do an NLP session today for overcoming fear of driving on highways. So many people have that fear and it really ends up crippling them from doing what they want to do, getting out and enjoying their lives. So I thought, what better place to do an NLP session than on the Autobahn? Now, the reason I'm not doing a hypnotherapy session is because it's not safe to do uh, hypnosis, to listen to anything hypnotic while operating a motor vehicle. Although I'm not driving, the driver is. So I'm just going to do an NLP session uh, out of safety. So uh, let me give you a, a view of, of what I'm seeing. Here's the, the road. As you can see, the uh, speed we're ramping up. We're going to uh, actually increase that speed uh, over the next few minutes. And uh, pretty soon we'll be going over 120 miles an hour here on the Autobahn. So what I want you to do is to, uh, to get ready for this NLP session, I want you to think of a time in your life when you were very confident. We're going to use that confidence to anchor so that the next time that you feel uneasy about driving on a freeway or the highway or uh, the Autobahn or whatever you may be driving on, you will be able to overcome that fear by, by tapping into that confidence from another situation. So I want you now to think of a time in your life when you're very confident. It could be any time at all. It doesn't have to be a time when you're driving or any time that you did anything that was amazing. Maybe you uh, won an award for something. Uh, maybe you just helped somebody do something and you felt very good about yourself. And remember, confidence isn't necessarily feeling like you're Superman or Wonder Woman. It's just sometimes just that calm feeling that you are okay as a human being, as a person. It doesn't have to be any uh, anything where you see the sky open up and uh, your angels or anything like that. It can just be a time where you felt good about yourself. You felt calm, you felt wonderful. And that's what true confidence is. So go ahead and think of a time now when you felt very confident, very good about yourself. I want you to tune into that now. And I want you to crank that up. You can close your eyes if you want or you can watch me and as I go down the road here. And I want you to crank that up now. I want you to really really make that even more powerful now. I want you to crank up that feeling of confidence as you remember that time that you felt very good about yourself. Really crank it up now. Wherever it is, I want you to crank it up to a level 10. But I also want you to crank up or turn up the sights, the sounds, the smells, the tastes, anything that had to do with that situation. Really turn them up now in your mind really make that a level 10. Make everything a level 10 now. Really crank it up. As we crank up the speed here, I want you to crank up those memories and those feelings. See, we're over 100 miles an hour now. And I want you to crank up those feelings, those memories, remembering what it was like to be in that situation. See, we're almost at 120 miles an hour now. Really crank that up in your mind, that's right. Really make everything vivid. Sight, sound, smells, taste, everything. Especially that feeling of feeling good about yourself. That's right. Feeling good about who you are as a person. Really crank that up. And if you've got everything up to a level 10 now, what I'd like you to do is make the okay sign with your left hand, touching the tip of your left thumb, the tip of your left index finger and say the word calm. That's right, and now relax. Now what have we done? We've installed an anchor for confidence. So the next time that you need to feel confidence for getting out and riding on the, on the highway, getting out and exploring the world by car, you will have that confidence that you need. You will have that ability to go do it. Just fire that off. Just make the okay sign and say the word calm. That will anchor you to that past time when you were confident. You can bring that into the present where you need it. I'm Steve G. Jones, hoping you have an outstanding day.